Hike Poker News is back and we've got more front than Robbie Jade Lou and more hike than Ike. This week's episode is taller than a chip mountain at the final table. We'll bring you not only one, but two big winners on the Poker Go Tour. Wish happy anniversary to Garrett and Robbie, kind of, and get some life advice from a former world champion. It's all in this week's Tight Poker News. What? Whoa. Look at you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's, look at Garrett's face. That is. First up, like other generations remember where they were when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon or JFK was assassinated, we all recall where we were when Robbie J. Lou hero called Garrett Adelstein's bluff on Hustler Casino Live last year. Yes, Robbie wished Garrett a happy anniversary this week after G-Man threatened legal action. Get a room, guys. A courtroom? Grandmaster Hans Neiman woke up choosing violence, going after the Botez sisters and their involvement in poker. As a group, they don't like bad beats. They get angsty if they're sitting in their chair for too long and often think many moves ahead. No, we're not talking about poker players, but chess grandmasters. Accused sex toy chess cheat Hans Neiman took a swing at fellow chess superstar Alexander Botez this week after poker's newest enthusiast from the chess world racked up a big win in the poker star's mystery cash challenge. Just a little advice, Hans. Next time you call out a fellow player when it comes to their popularity against yours, don't mess with the queen. With that, I will present you the highly coveted purple jacket. If you want to put this one Should on, take this off? you can put it on over it. Why All not? Right. More positive news. It's been a superb week for two of the biggest names in poker. In the 2023 Poker Masters, British poker legend Stephen Chidwick cashed in four of the last five events to grab the purple jacket, while Isaac Haxton hit one for the home team, the American winning his second super high roller bowl after cracking Andrew Lichtenberger's pocket kings. You want to know who is toughest poker player out there, baby? We all have gotten the best of each other. Daniel, Phil, Doy, Ivy, James, Stu, Johnny, Mike, everyone. Every single bro is who they are. Because when it's come down to it, we all have the same opponent, baby. The one look back at you in the mirror every damn day. Everyone loves the 1998 world champion Scotty Wynn, the WSOP main event winner who became famous for saying, if you call, it'll be all over, baby, has returned to our screens with more life advice 25 years on. Someone has been watching old Michael Jackson videos because Scotty says, if you're feeling bad, then you'll want to take a look at the man in the mirror. Upon reflection, sorry about that. I, I could get a flush draw, so I have to call. Let's see what she has. Okay, she has aces, but I still have a flush draw for the amount of chips in. Oh my god. Now, what better way to celebrate your worth to the poker world than to bad beat a fellow female chess player? Alexandra Botez clearly feels her opponent's pain in our hand of the week. I'm so sorry, Dina. It's just my pot odds were too good to call there. Oh wow, ace king. Oh god, I just knocked out Dina. I knocked out- oh, I feel so bad. Finally, how long would you wait to make a dream come true? Oh, no deuce, no deuce. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> if you're Shannon Shore, then the answer is 17 years. After cashing 200 times over almost two decades in World Series of Poker events, Shore finally won a bracelet. To say he and his expectant wife were happy is an understatement. Adorbs. That's a wrap for us as we cash out our chips for this week's edition of Type Poker News. Head to our site and follow us on social media for the latest poker news, tips, game guides, and much more.